Do you remember the last time when I did one of these videos? I was nice. That's not gonna happen anymore. Because for the last week, I have seen enough from AW. Last night, I have seen enough from Raw. And now, instead of trying to be nice, I'm just gonna say whatever is on my mind. That will affect the score, that will affect everything. So tonight, we are reviewing NXT. And the show started with the last chance Fatal 4-Way match for the Iron Survivor Tournament. It's not a tournament. Yeah, I'm not nice. In this match, there were Roxanne Perez, Fallon Henley, Keanu James, and Tia Hale. And do you know who won? Do you know who won? The person who no one wanted to win, Fallon Henley. But that's okay, that's fine. There should be an underdog in this match, in my opinion, I'm not mad about this. It was an okay match. Yeah, I'm not really satisfied myself with the winner, but I see why she won. It's fine, it's fine, it's good. After that, we have a segment with, with Wesley in the ring. And Wesley, we understood that he's injured. He needs to go through a back surgery. And that means that his match with Dominic Mysterio is not gonna happen at deadline. But instead, Dragon Lee is gonna replace him at deadline. Oh my God. How many times are we gonna see Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio? I'm sick and tired of it. Isn't Dragon Lee on the main roster already? Why are we keep giving him title matches after title matches after big opportunities after big opportunities? Let the guy do his thing, not in a title match. Because, do you know what's gonna happen? Dominic is gonna retain. And then at the next title opportunity, the other guy is gonna retain. And Dragon Lee is gonna lose, lose, lose and people are gonna get disappointed and all of that kind of stuff why are we putting dragon lee in these dangerous scenarios for his career of course but anyway that was it for that whole segment after that we had lola vice versus tatum pexley who the f she's a weirdo that is following lyra valkyria around but i don't understand why she got a match with lola vice when she was asking for a tag match with Valkyria and Lopez. I'm a little bit confused. Lola Vice won and let's move forward. After that we had a fun little match between the Alpha Academy and the Metaphor and I really enjoyed that match. It was all fun and games. Otis was trying to, you know what Otis was trying to do to Lash Legend. It was amazing and the finish was amazing because Noam Dar was about to do some step up in Seguri kind of finisher but Chad Gato caught him mid hair and caught him with an anchor walk and tapped him out and it was amazing. I liked it. It was a fun little segment. I like Alpha Academy. I'm not sure if I like Metaphor but I think they're growing up in me. I don't know what does that mean. They're not growing inside of me. I'm gonna go out. After that, we had the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge Summit, which was a weird one. And I feel like it was a little bit of a feeler, given the fact that Fallon Henley just won her spot in there. And basically, all of them were talking how they're gonna go through all of them and they're gonna win normal. And everything ended with a brawl with Fallon Henley saying, hi ya, bish, and she hit Tiffany Stratton. I don't get it, everyone. I don't get it why we should do this. Are we filling up airtime? What is going on? After that, we had an amazing match, a classic, I would say, Nathan Fraser versus Axiom. There was a backstage segment when Axiom was talking to Nathan Fraser where he lost against Baron Corbin. He never had a match against Baron Corbin. He had a match versus Celia Dragon of last week, but he talked with him, he offered him a mask. I think he wants to be a tag team with him. I don't understand, but I really love when these guys wrestle. It's a mama mia masterpiece and it's amazing. And of course, the match was canceled because the brawl from the summit continued into their match. And I'm disappointed. After that, we had a Chase U student assembly where 
Andre Chase was saying that he has a huge debt and students were offering to pay about this debt and Duke Hudson said that he's not gonna sell his trophy and it's not interesting. I'm sorry, it's not. After that, we had the man last chance fatal four-way match that was between Carmelo Hayes, Tyler Bate, Joe Coffey and Eddie Thorpe. I was expecting Melo to win, but I guess it makes sense for Melo not to win because it's gonna be Trick versus Melo. But in the end, do you know who won? Do, 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 can you guess who won? Tyler Bate won. I guess we need another underdog. Honestly, I, my favorite was Carmelo in that match. And I wouldn't be mad if anyone won except Eddie Torp. Eddie Torp just, it's not fitting for that match yet. He's too young. He needs to do a lot more stuff before he goes into that match. But anyway, I'm not too mad with that match. But after that, Tyler Bates started talking how he's gonna go through everyone. And after that, Dijak came out and he said that he's gonna go through everyone. I actually like Dijak promo. And after that, Braun Breaker came out and he said that he's gonna go through everyone. And everyone came out and they said that they're, they're gonna go through everyone. And Trick Williams, when he came, he started attacking people. And another brawl came out out of all of this and wait there's more we had a segment between Ilya Dragunov and Baron Corbin face off and that was actually a pretty good segment I mean Baron Corbin was, st was stinging Ilya Dragunov with things about his family and how he left them about Ilya Dragunov's father Ilya Dragunov he refused to attack Baron Corbin because obviously if he attacks him the match is gonna be cancelled and all of that kind of stuff but in the end Baron Corbin was like, do it for the family, he turned his back on Ilya Dragunov and he waited Ilya to attack him and Baron was like, you're nothing more than a coward and Ilya Dragunov hurt him and he said the only person that can destroy the dragon is the dragon himself but I don't understand why Ilya had to hug him, weird. And after that, do you know what happened? The bro continued into, into their segment. And after that, of course, Bronze Spear, Trick Williams, and Briggs Jensen, uh, Briggs, Brooks, I don't know the name of the guy, through the table, and uh, that's how NXT ended. And so, if I was to rate NXT tonight, I would have given it a solid 5. It was mid. Nothing else, nothing more, that's how it is. Sorry. There were segments that I really enjoyed, but it was mid. Sorry, it was just mid. If you don't agree with me, go down in the comments and say, Angelo, you are right, because I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.